In this video, we are going to create this flare effect in Unreal Engine using Niagara system. I am currently in UE 5.2, but you can use any recent version. I have a flare object in the viewport and I will light this up with Niagara. In the content browser, right click and add a new Niagara system. Hit next and choose this fountain emitter and click on this plus button. This will give us a good starting point. I rename this to NS underscore flare. Open it up and dock it like this. I'll create this flare effect in a few layers. First, I create the initial sparks. Rename this emitter to Initial Sparks. I change it to use GPU and this Calculate Bounds to fix. Right now, it constantly spawns particles due to this spawn rate module, but I want a burst of particles at once. So, delete this module and add Spawn Burst Instantaneous module. Set the spawn count to 300. Now it is looping this emitter every 2 seconds. I like this to burst sparks 3 times before it starts to emit smoke. So in the emitter setting, I change the loop behavior to multiple and set the loop count to 3. Set the loop duration to 0.25. Now in the initialized particle module, I set the minimum and maximum lifetime to 0.1 and 0.3. Change the color to red and increase the value to 40. This will make it initial. Right now they are in circular shape. I know motion blur is the one that makes sparks look like lines but here I make this longer on one axis by default. So I set the sprite size mode to random non-uniform and set the X and Y's to 0.05 to 1 and 0.2 to 1. Then to make the longer Y axis align with the moving direction, in the sprite renderer, I set the alignment to velocity align. Here in the shape location, I reduce the radius to 0.5. This controls the spawn position of the particles. Set the velocity 200 and 250 and reduce the cone angle to 20 degrees. Turn off the gravity. I increase the drag to 1. To see this in action with our flare object, first I save this and then back in the editor, I drag and drop the Niagara system to the viewport. Position it at the tip of the flare. You can use this auto activate option to activate and deactivate the particle system. That's not bad for our initial burst of sparks. Now let's move on to making the continuous sparks. We can use this emitter to make things easy. So control D to duplicate it. Hit F2 to rename it to sparks. I set this to local space. I don't want it to inherit the world space when it's moving. I turn it on for both of these emitters. I want this to be a continuous burst of sparks. So I delete this module and add spawn rate module. Set it to 300. Set the loop behavior to infinite and duration to 2 seconds. If you having a hard time viewing this effect, go to preview scene settings window. You can enable it from here if you don't already have it. And turn off show environment. Darken the environment color a bit as well. Since I want these continuous sparks to start right after the third initial burst of sparks, I introduce a bit of loop delay to it. Set the delay to 0.4 and enable delay first loop only. I increase the maximum lifetime to 0.5. Increase the shape location sphere radius to 1. Decrease the velocity a bit and increase the cone angle to 120. 
this will spread the particles lot more. I enable the gravity and reduce it to negative 50. To add some noise to the movement, I add curl noise force module. Set its strength to 100 and frequency to 10. These are not any magic numbers. I played with these values before to find one that suits with what I am looking for. Let's create the smoke. I duplicate the sparks emitter and rename it to smoke. For this one, I turn off the local space. Here I set the loop delay to 0.56. I increase the lifetime to 1 and 2. To create the smoke simulation, we need a material from the starter content pack. If you don't already have it on your project, you can right click on content and go to add feature or content pack and import it from here. Back in the Niagara system, I changed the sprites alignment back to unaligned. And here in the material, I search for smoke and select this smoke sub UV material. This is a material from the starter content pack. It is an 8x8 sprite sheet and our particles will render each of these sprites from its birth to death, giving us an illusion of an animating smoke. But we have to tell that to the sprite renderer. For that, under sub UV section, set the size to 8 and 8 and enable blending. Now, in the particle update section of the emitter, add sub UV animation module. Choose sprite renderer and you can set the sprite range from here. Since we have 64 sprites and it starts from 0. I leave these default values like this. You can always view only this emitter by clicking on this icon and isolating it. Then I change the sprite size mode to random uniform. Change the color. I set it to a big grayish color with 0.5 for the alpha. Also, I reduce the mask to lower values. Increase the smoke sprite size as well. Reduce the velocity to 25 and 60. Cone angle to 60 degrees. Reduce the gravity to negative 20. For the drag, I click on this arrow and choose float from curve. This way I can set different drag amounts depending on particle's age. I select this graph template and change the n y value to 3. This way Particle start with zero drag and slowly receive more and more drag. I want the smoke sprites to start small and then increase in size. For that, I add a new module here called scale sprite size and change the graph to something like this. I decrease the spawn rate to 75. Also, in the scale color, I change the graph to this. This will make changes to alpha channel of the smoke. At the start, it is not visible but then quickly reaches the maximum transparency which we initially set to 0.5 in the initial color stage and then slowly reaches back to zero making the smoke fades away. Right now you can see they are moving way too fast for a smoke scene. That is due to curl noise module. I reduce its strength to 1 and noise frequency to 2. Also, I enable pan noise and choose random range vector from here. Set the minimum x and y to negative 0.2 and 0.2. This will pan the noise field on this axis giving a random noise movement to the particles. Now disable the isolation and view it in the viewport. You can see our smoke is very dark. That's because there is not enough light illuminating the smoke. So I add a point light, place it at the tip of the flare and change its color to red. Now you can see we are getting that vibe of a smoke flare. 
you can always play with the values to get exactly the look you want. Here I increase the smoke velocity a bit. For our next emitter, I like to have a small flame at the tip. For that, I duplicate our sparks emitter and rename it to flame. Isolate it. Reduce the spawn rate to 20. For this, I change the loop delay to 0.55. Set the lifetime mode to direct set and set it to 0.3. Increase the color intensity to 100. Just for now, I set the sprite size mode to uniform. But it doesn't really matter since I will use these particles as a ribbon later. For the velocity, I set the mode to linear and change the set speed to 20. I delete the shape location. This will make the particles spawn at the Niagara system origin. But if you want to offset it from that position, you can use system location module and change this offset value. Reduce the drag to 0.4. Delete the gravity. I set the curl noise frequency to 1. Now let's render these particles as ribbon to get that small flame look. So I add a new renderer. Ribbon renderer. Delete the previous one. Set the sprite size mode to unset and add ribbon width from here. I set it to 2. Now I want the end of the ribbon to be pointy. So I add scale ribbon width module. Change it to float from curve. And I choose this template. For scale color, I change the alpha curve like this. Probably won't make any difference since our MC value is high. But anyway, I think that's it. That's our flare effect in Unreal Engine using Niagara. It starts as a few sparks and then turns into a nice smoke emitter. You can pair in the Niagara system and a point light to flare object to see it in action. Also, you can pick a good frame of the effect from here and click on this thumbnail button and Unreal will use that as the thumbnail of your effect. Through Blueprints, you will be able to link the point light with the flare effect to cast light from the flare. Or, if you're using it in the sequencer, animate the point light intensity when you want the flare to light up. So, that's our flare smoke effect in UE5. As usual, project files are available for Patreon members. Don't forget to check out my other UE5 Niagara tutorials. And if you want more, you can alert me by hitting that like and subscribe button. Until next time, 